I'm going to be doing a nail polish tutorial and this is basically just a neon inspired polka dot tutorial. So I already started and my camera kind of like froze and stopped and said it was out of memory. So um, yeah, but I already started and that's what I have. So I'm going to tell you the supplies. You're going to need, um, I would suggest a paper plate. Um, that's what I'm using. And then some toothpicks. I'm using three colors, so I have three toothpicks. Um, and their one side is flat and the other side is rounded and I am using the rounded side so yeah and then you're gonna need a base and top coat I'm simply just using the L'Oreal ones you can use whatever um, and then the white I used by was by NYC you can pick this up at Target for 94 cents so um, yeah but that's just a French white tip and then the pink I've used already is by Sinful Colors, and it is in 24-7. And then um, the purple I'm going to be using is Dream On by Sinful Colors. It's such a pretty neon, and you can't even see the true color on camera. And then the orange is by Oily, and it is called Melt Your Popsicle. And um, after those I have applied the polka dots with those colors. I'm going to be using this Orly in Shine On Crazy, Crazy Diamond. Um, and I just recommend, like, after you're done with that, to put a clear base, but kind of like a top coat glitter that's full of glitter on that. And then apply your top coat, of course. But if you don't really want to use, like, a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover, this is a great option. Um, by Sinful Colors, and it is their nail polish corrector. So, um, I'll just show you really quick what it looks like. I've used it already, but, um, that's what that looks like. It's really nice. So, um, again, I already did the pink, and I was going to do the purple, but camera froze on me right in the middle of it. But anyways, you're going to put a big blop of polish down on the plate. And a nice blob is good because the Q-tip can't really get it all, so you kind of have to go like that. And then I'm going to try and show you as best as I can, but just put random polka dots. And I don't care if they overlap because I think that's just how they look, really pretty, different sizes and all that. So that's what we have right now. I really think it's kind of like a camouflage um, color. But then we're going to do the same. I'm going to turn the plate a little just because that area is getting a little polluted. Um, we better shake this. But um, now we move on to the orange. And this is just like highlighter orange. It's, it's so crazy how they can make such a, a really nice bright orange so again we're going to do the same thing just do some random dots and um, toothpicks are a great option if you don't want to invest on nail polish tools and such but um, that's what we have right now so we're just going to let this dry and what I like to do, I'll show you when this is drying, what I like to do with my other nails, because I'm going to do this as an accent, um, I'm going to just paint my nails, let me move this out of the way, okay, what I like to do is use my base coat, and I'll just show you on a nail, because I want to do something different, I want to do the glitter with that. But uh, let's just do all my fingers here. I gotta reshape my nails again because all of a sudden they started breaking today in school. And I am I just got really aggravated. So, uh, yeah. Nice random fact there. So now I'm going to use the Orly Shine on Crazy Diamond. And put that all over my uh, other nails except for right now because it's drying. But, uh. And I could show you what it looks like. This color, this um, nail polish, I just figured out what it smells like. This color smells like, um, 
what is it, spray paint, and it, it's just really uh, icky, but uh, that's what that looks like, and I think it'll look great. So I think the color has finally dried, and if not, whatever, it'll blend, and it'll look really pretty, but um, get that glitter on. So that would be the finished look, then you just apply your top coat, no really special thing about that, but I'm trying to do a close up, you can kind of see the glitter, and then this nail, but that's what the glitter would look like on that nail. I really like this nail and how it contrasts right off with the white, and the reason I did the white was because it enhances the neon to make it even brighter, so um, yeah, thanks guys. I hope you enjoy this, and if you guys have any more nail tutorials, please um, comment or um, email me, whatever. But uh, yeah, thanks guys. Bye.